Today, me and Splashak will uncover the mysterious truth about Orin Ao, offering you guys theories that you may not have heard before. And trust me, it gets really dark really quick. And what better way to explain the truth behind this mod than to do it with a tier list of all Apollos? So hey, grab a drink, strap in, and let's go on this journey together and find out what really goes on. Right in the top, we have your drunk uncle. You don't want to see him on a Friday night. Drunk. And then we have horrifying. Beast for yourself. It's horrifying. And then we go to the low key scary. It's not really scary, but it's, it's low key scary. Low in the middle part. Then we have piece of cake. You can probably like beat the shit out of them in a bar fight. You know, that kind of level. That you can't do with your uncle, that's for sure. And then at the bottom, we just have sponge bubble level threat. He's a fucking sponge. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, the original Orin IO project was taken down by Scratch because, you know, it's a kid's website. So, unfortunately, we will need to use Putaman's older video on it as reference. So, yeah, let's do this and start with the very first of the very first. This piece of crap. This is the conceptualization of Redacted Sphere after experiencing trauma while encountering a rotting corpse in the ventilation system of his best friend's home. He thought there was alive and frozen in the same place for 26 hours waiting for it to snap to life and kill him. His friend was convicted of murder and he was given therapy which then resulted in his document being recorded. Oh damn boy! <laughs> Whoever this is isn't actually a person, but it's rather a manifestation of somebody's trauma. Oh, it's like a skinwalker of someone's trauma. Basically, yeah. And apparently, that person who had this trauma found a decomposing dead body in his best <laughs> friend's vent, and then that best friend got convicted of murder. So, so somebody decided to do fucking kill someone, shove them in their air vent, and their best friend found it. Sounds like such a fucking good friend. You gotta admit, the fact that they just stayed at you and don't have any head movements they do their animations kind of freaky too the only thing i really have an issue with is the fast parts of their sound which kind of take away from the scariness he's actually going rhythmic like fast he just go fast he just go like i show speed type beat right off the bat i think he goes in low-key scary that's my opinion I, I i agree with you on the low-key scary because it it's a it's a cool story you know it's it's we're just gonna shut up we can't like spend like fucking 50 hours on each guy but i just want to say i haven't actually read these things right there so this is gonna be like a first impression for me as well so i oh, might totally. get some shivers down my timbers on that boys but that's hey that's how we do Name, heart, age, 17, gender, female. That's a woman? Oh, the fuck is this a woman? Heart was a victim in the apartment fire caused by Kurt. Remember that name. Heart ran out the building without her arms, bleeding, and her torso was on fire. She passed out on the street and almost died, but a bystander called 1111. <laughs> That's a good number. 111 before many people died. Art suffered severe vocal damage and tried to speak, caused her to spew blood on the floor. After being put back into an optimal state, she was taken in recovery where she currently is right now. So, uh, this person's actually still alive. Okay, so she's alive somehow. Like I said in my video, it looks like a sock. How the fuck is this a female that's alive it is a burnt corpse without arms mm -hmm, that, that's very true how the fuck do you lose both your arms in a fire and how do you bleed in a fire wouldn't that cauterize the wounds i mean me personally i would just run out that's itself is a mystery a big issue i have with this lore is the fact that how it's presented in the game because the thing with if, if she does spew blood on the floor how come she doesn't do that in game no, she has, she has vibes. Oh, that's me. Yeah. No, yeah. that's me again. <laughs> yeah, there is literally no continuity or integration of the spewing blood when speaking thing, and that's the kind of issue I have. Yeah, and I also, like, agree in that part, because I've seen a lot of people comment, like, some people think it's just, you know, like, edgy teenager writing lore kind of thing. It kind of feels like that, that they just, you know, the most brutal burning in the house thing you can write, they just wrote it here, just because it sounds absolutely crazy, but I don't think it actually corresponds to what we see in the game, you know? Garner, so this, like, it, it, it's still kind of a cool story. So I want to put this, like, I want to put in a piece of cake, you know? I can fight yeah, this yeah. bitch in the street because she has no arm and is a corpse. But still, yeah, piece of cake. That's, it's fair. 
Name unknown. Age is 16 to 20. Wait, wait, pause. How the fuck are you 16 to 20? I think it's because it might be a John Doe situation. Okay, yeah, that's fair. This was a sculpture donated to a museum. Many people reported hearing muffling screaming coming from the statue. After six days of being up in the museum, an investigation was made and it was found out there was a top half of a person with a hole drilled in their head, covered in clay. They were somehow alive, but had died minutes before the investigation. Holy wow, fuck. Well, okay. Basically, the upper half of a corpse stuffed into a statue. As a sculpture donated. Just that part is mysterious itself. Like, okay, who the fuck donated this sculpture? You know, all of that part. Oh, um, speaking of that, uh, something I forgot to mention, which is the entire theme of this mod. This theme has something to do with a cult and ferrofluid, which is apparently, ferrofluid is apparently some sort of gel or structure that has uh, powers beyond death. Like, bring people back to life kind of thing. Ooh, is that why they all, like, survive it? Even though they're like, yeah, a statue. Very dead, yeah. The issue I have with this is that it says it's a sculpture. How come it's moving so freely in game? <laughs> this guy has been through. Yeah. Like, what did they say? Wait, they said it. Her muffled screaming coming from the statue. How the fuck does she yeah. make these kind of movements then? If there's a corpse hit covered in clay and passed off as a statue, I don't think it should be moving like that. Yeah, especially the mouth. If it was muffled, it should be like. <laughs> Yeah, I think that portrayal would have worked way better than what we have right now. And I think that kind of kind of pulls it down, you know, in the in the whole rating here. Like the lore itself, I, I feel it's kind of you know, it's, it's kind of fucked. But what we see here is like it's not really shown in the game. Wanna maybe maybe low key scary? Let's put. I feel like it's scarier than the first one, so we're gonna put it above there. Okay, name redacted. Age 36, male. A great friend of <laughs> However, they were known to be an alcoholic and was once found being mauled by a tiger at a zoo after it had closed. Thankfully, someone who was on a night shift had seen this and shot a tiger to death. <laughs> Tried to reassemble their corpse to bring it back to life. Alright, so apparently this guy got fucking owned by a tiger and they were trying to use the ferrofluid to bring their back to life, but I'm guessing they accidentally brought some of the tiger stuff into it, which is why he has the ears and the teeth and stuff. But what the fuck are the eyes? What is the face? What do I see? Probably some weird ferrofluid stuff, but here's my theory. This guy and this guy are somehow connected because these are the only two bios out of all 20 characters that have the word redacted in them. I, I thought this guy could be the guy that, you know, murdered the shit out of the guy in the air vent, but then I realized that wouldn't make sense because he was convicted of murder afterwards, so there's no way he would make it to a zoo. Unless this is the guy who actually found the body. Ooh, that that guy found the body. Because not only is he called redacted, just like the guy who found the body was in this one, but it's, the fact, it's also the fact that he's an alcoholic. It doesn't specify when he turned to alcohol. Now, alcohol is definitely something one would turn to after, you know, seeing a dead body yeah, in an air vent. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh shit, you're on the, like, investigation mode today. Imagine getting eviscerated by a tiger as opposed to be at a zoo. I could get by that. That's sort of kind of peaceful to me. I feel like this guy actually kind of, this feels kind of nice, you know, to have. Uh, yeah, I'd pro I'll probably put it in horrifying because I don't think he's, you know, terrifying enough to go in your drunk uncle. Getting fucked up by a tiger isn't the worst way to go. I I feel like I feel like there's probably I mean, gonna be worse ways to die in this uh, yeah, in this yeah, scenario. It, yeah, it's scientifically proven that burning to death is the most painful way to go, but you know, heart yeah. is a piece of cake. Yeah, <laughs> he, he got she got a little bit of a uh, shambles, but yeah, that's how we do. Classified, age 36, gender. That's a woman. Our third prototype. It was success. S s s f s <laughs> fuck, my autism is kicking in. Our third prototype. It was a success, but failed in form. We could only simulate her pain, but not actually revive her. So again, this is not actually a real person, but instead, whoever made this was trying to recreate the pain somebody was experiencing. And third prototype. Okay, so there is a, a second and first prototype somewhere. Let's keep that in mind. They wanted to revive it, like the person, and then it just turned into a fucking a siren or was it a siren from the like what, what what's going on here like how is it a siren on my screen um well experimentation probably you can't nothing's really gonna look good on the third prototype but let's keep this in mind that it says they're trying to revive people keep that in mind as far as scariness i don't think it's that scary to be honest it's literally just a bunch of tvs of a siren and it, i think it takes away from the creep factor due to how wide it is and some of the other polos block it which gets kind of annoying trying to cut this out as a png is 
absolutely impossible. Another issue I have is the fact there's no animation. Now, I know what some people think. Sometimes not animating things may actually be creepier, but, but it doesn't work in this case because it just looks kind of goofy. There's no animation, it just stays oh, still yeah, just the Oh, uh, okay. I, I feel like this is kind of a, you know, it is kind of a shit character, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a level threat. Why not? Sponge per level threat. I mean, maybe if she moves, I don't want to call, call it a she even. It's a fucking siren, but here we go. Sponge per level right. threat. That's how I do. Ethan, age 19, gender male. Ethan Tadpole was a musician with great talent. Unfortunately, he was murdered at the age of 19 via being shot in the eyes with a pistol, and after he died, a tuba was dropped onto his face. What? Being shot in the eyes with a pistol and then dropping a tuba onto the victim's face? Pretty sure who wrote this probably didn't have some good grammar or something, but I'm pretty sure that after he was shot in both eyes, a t he was, his head was crushed by a tuba. Okay, it's some fucking Final Destination type shit right here. This guy actually had a pretty damn good theory about, and it's the fact of how he died. Like, shot twice, both eyes, and then his head was crushed by a tuba. Who the fuck would kill someone that brutally? Who the fuck would kill a 19 year old? He's just a child, goddammit. Yeah, yeah, murder is one thing, but killing them in such a way is so, so grotesquely. Like, you could easily just shoot him one time in the head, and, that would, and that'll be over. But someone very clearly did not like him. Someone was jealous, maybe, that he was so good at a musician, you know? Yeah, and I'm, and I'm gonna get to that. There are three main reasons someone would kill someone in such a brutal way, which is one, pure malice, two, revenge, and three, envy. Which one of those do you think makes the most sense? Envy. Envy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ethan is 19 year old and a very successful musician. Kind of implying he's a prodigy of some kind. But when you keep, but when you keep that in mind, you suddenly realize that Ethan is not the only musician in this mod, and all of a sudden, it makes sense. It sounds as cool, the only issue I have with the design, it's not scary, it just looks really fucking goofy and weird. It looks like a vampire, kind of with the, like teeth and shit. Yeah, I think there are like many other ways to actually make it look scary, because really it just looks like someone, like a five-year-old tried to draw something scary and thought it was scary. It, does, it doesn't look scary, but the story is interesting, but that's all I really have to say about it. What about you? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, nothing really scary going on, but as we say, with the story and all that, I feel like we're kind of getting somewhere maybe. Really depends where we're going, but so I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be like here here bottom there Name unknown age 18 gen that's a woman what do you mean? <laughs> What do you- what do you mean? One of the few cultists we were able to find. Strangely had advanced body augmentations curing the age she had. Alright, so- She had AIDS. Um, this is a so Yeah, so this is one of the cultists. And I don't know why they look like that. It doesn't state why she looked like that, which is weird. But there's something really interesting we get from this description. Whoever is writing these documents is not the cult. Wait, can we just bring it back again, the cult part? Like, is this all a cult that's reviving people, or...? Yeah, the feral fluid is created by the cult or something, and they're doing it to revive people. But whoever is writing these documents is not part of the cult, which is kind of interesting. I don't... I really do not know how I feel about this. It's literally just a shadow person with one of the weird... Probably one of the most vaguest stories ever. Yeah, that's... I, I can't really get, like, a grip of what the fuck is going on. Like, it, 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 basically, it's no story. Yeah, but and the sound... And I, and I feel like the sound is just a worst version... It's a worst version of voice one. Yeah, I low you like the sound that if he, you know, is... <laughs> to me, it just feels like a playable version of the background characters, which we already see all the time, but you, it's your tier list. You can do whatever yeah, you want uh, with no, them. No, this is our tier list. We do this together. Where do you want to put them? You get the vet on this one. Bunch of level frag, because we, all, guess we know almost nothing level about them. Threat. They will put them. We put them top. Of the, the, the server is a fucking shower, you know? He deserved it. I mean, that's literally all there is. Age 45, gender male. Okay, I don't want to put this guy on the tier list yet because the story actually manages to come together once we learn more about the other characters. That's what I think. So I think we should put this guy on hold for now and move on to effect four. 
AZ-TF, 46 and 39 males. So these are literally two people fused together. Our fourth prototype, it had failed as the two subjects we were testing had fused and became two consciousness. We only wish to use Zeta skin and not fuse both Alpha and Zeta. <laughs> oh, All that's right. a big fuck up. <laughs> so right off the bat, fourth prototype, meaning that after the siren bitch, they immediately made this twin motherfucker. They're fucking up pretty hard. One thing I do like is how fucking massive they are compared to the other polos. If you bring up your gameplay real quick and compare Effect 4 to like everyone else. Oh, Jesus Lord, yeah, they kind of like off ahead above them. The thing I find really interesting is the sound he makes. Like, when you look at this guy, what kind of sound would you expect someone like him to make? No. But he doesn't make that sound. He makes a sound of like a VHS bugging out. Oh, yeah, that's the sound. Of course, he isn't animated yet, but they do make an animation from it. It would be cool if it was like they just put like a static overlay of him, just glitch it out for the sound. Yeah, true. Because which, and I think it's actually a really damn good portrayal of what this character could be. The sound itself and just and, and just looking at him, kind of scary. But, you know, I've seen like a conjoint twins, whatever they call called, you know, before. So, you know, it's it's not that scary. And the sound isn't that scary. So for me, like for me, I don't know. Not really crazy scary where do you think it would go i can't put him in piece of cake because I can't, I can't like i can't fuck him up you know he's tall he has a big mouth he can probably shoot my whole head so i, I kind of have to put him in loki scary sure i think it would go in horrifying really because he's definitely Oof. way scarier than that fucking statue but is it really though? Imagine yeah. going in and seeing a statue kind of like, oh, hello, baby boy. You know, that's kind of scary. I mean, with a statue, you can literally just tip it over and you're safe. Compared to seeing something like that in the middle of the night under a street light. Mm, yeah, you, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> because these guys aren't really that scary at all. And then we move a pair. Yeah, we have yeah, two fuckers, yeah, you know? Yeah. Lilith. Age 44, gender female. Hey, look, it's actually obvious this time. Lilik was a famous musician. They one day at a concert were murdered on stage, but white. The audience described as a massive wire is covered in oil tangled around a shadowy figure. It did not seem like a person, but rather a machine. However, it was apparently too natural to be artificial. Before I continue on, let's, just, let's try to figure out what the hell she was killed by. If anyone remembers, what is this mod mainly about? Very fluid and, uh. Ferris? <laughs> A cult. Yeah, and if we look back at this guy, he's wearing a hood of some kind. Now, if he's a big musician, why would he be wearing some weird Ooh. hood or something? Oh, goddamn, boy. Boy, okay, okay, yeah, that, oof. It's likely that he was affiliated with this cult. Since he was apparently murdered, they pr probably want to kill that murderer, wouldn't you think? Yeah, that makes sense, you know. Revenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a massive wire is covered in oil, thinking on a shadowy figure. Shadowy figure. Advanced body augmentation. Holy fuck. Hey, Flatter, pause, pause. You're moving yeah. mad, boy. You're moving mad. Wait, okay, okay. It's all coming together. This guy is a musician. He's extremely successful. 19, prodigy. This woman, 44, rock star, 44 years old, 19 years old. So it's like, it's my theory is that she was probably, her popularity was like, <laughs> die now, get it, cause she died. <laughs> she got really jealous of Ethan's success and kinda got to her head, killed him, and boom, cultist killed her because Ethan was a cultist. Holy hell, yeah, 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 yeah. oh my, f bro, 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 the, yeah, okay, that, yeah, this makes sense. Do we have any more, you know, like, lore, or should we just put this guy in your drunk uncle? I mean, I, I don't want to say it's scary compared to some of the other guys, but it's definitely pretty freaky, especially <laughs> considering the lore behind it. And speaking of this, I think this story could actually bump up Ethan and the cultist up a little bit, considering they're connected. I feel like this guy has to go up at least here now, but no low key that he can go higher because it was a, a like mass of wires covered in oil tangled around the shadow figure. That sounds pro yeah. fu pretty fucking scary. I'm gonna put them here now. Sure, sure, yeah, do that. Let's put these together because these are, you know, they ride together, they die together. Name unknown, age 20 to 30, so another John Doe situation, gender male. A man who is currently relatively unknown is so running around the homeless shelter naked and they were extremely high on, I have no idea how to pronounce that. 
After running outside, many people would call him Cat Queen hysterically as he ran. And he was then chased by police and beat to death outside of an elderly woman's home. Oh, so he got killed by police brutality. Sounds like a normal day in the USA. As for someone who lives in the USA, I can confirm that police very much killed normal people here a lot. Maybe this guy doesn't really look that normal, but hey, we we take it. That's because he's high as balls. He, 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 found, he found the magic mushrooms. Yeah, but there's something weird I thought about. Why is this guy here? It, it seems like he was a, a pretty normal person who was high, killed by police situation. I don't, I don't think there's any way the cults would actually be involved with this dude at all, especially since he's homeless. But then I realized something. We are aware that some of these characters are prototypes. We know there's at least four of them because of the twin dude is number four. So we know that there's two prototypes we are missing. The first one and the second one. But something also interesting I found is that this guy doesn't have, seem to have any body mutilation whatsoever. They seem completely intact. Like, there's no scars, no blood, nothing. I'm thinking this guy was the first prototype because it showed a cult it was possible to bring people back to life. Oh yeah, and then they tried to just go fucking crazy with it. Yeah, research is a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah, but do, do, do you think this guy is scary or do we just think that this guy is high? Well, he does have a pretty unsettling sound. He sounds high, but he's also kind of cool, you know? Yeah, I, I just don't like the head movements. I think if they, like, made the head movements less exaggerated, it would be way scarier, but... Yeah. I, I was thinking about putting him in your drunk uncle, because he would definitely pass off as a drunk uncle. <laughs> this is the drunk uncle. Ah! Boom, we have our first prototype as part of the tier list. We have the drunk uncle in. Whew. A TV, literally a TV. It has no biological info because it's not biological. Literally just a TV. But then you start to piece it, piece it together. Description. This was an old TV that was tampered with by using ferrofluid and rotten flesh. It may not seem much at first, but then you consider, why was that stuff put into a TV? It's likely that the cult knew that people could revive as part of the first melody, that the homeless guy. They wanted to test it out. So they, they put fair fluid and rotting flesh and put it in a TV to see if something would happen and something happened. It's not a really a living person, but there's something I, I think is really interesting. This is not the only TV that was, quote, brought back to life. Sound familiar? No. The fifth beat. But here's my theory. This is a prototype version of the fifth beat. And since the fifth beat is prototype three, this make this guy, I mean, TV prototype two. They found out that fair fluid is able to screw around with rotting flesh. Also just realized those little strands came from the bottom of the TV look like hair. But now we have the story behind it. This was the second prototype. Homeless guy was the first prototype. The, the uh, multiple TVs were the third prototype and the twins were the fourth prototype. They kind of escalating pretty much with every prototype they do. Homeless dude was proof it would happen. The second prototype of the TV is proof that is trying to understand how it works. The third prototype of the TV is, is its experimentation trying to do it. And the fourth prototype is improving on the last prototype by using a real corpse. Oof. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I wouldn't say he's scary at all, besides the fact that he's filled with frying flesh and ferro fluid. Yeah, I mean, that's not even, like, scary. Like, yeah, that ain't even scary. He sounds happy. He looks like a TV with blood in it. Yeah, we also know that's a prototype version of Prototype 3. But, but do you think it goes below or above Prototype 3? Below, actually. Because it, it sounds happy. It sounds happy. I vibe to that one. Yes, you know that. Agree, agree. Name Kurt, age 12 years old, male. Um, Kurt. Does that name sound familiar? That sounds familiar. I recognize that name. Uh, speaking of that, so Hart, you, you know, second beat, was burned to death in the apartment fire caused by... Kurt. 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 Kurt was a 12-year-old child who suffered from schizophrenia. He was very introverted and did not speak often, so his hallucinations were never brought up before with his parents. At 5.25 a.m. on 24th of May, he set a building on fire due to his currently undiscovered schizophrenia. Most people in the building evacuated, but Kurt had trapped himself in a building after many vivid hallucinations. When the building had collapsed, he got stuck in Ripple for two days, before being excavated and sent to the hospital where he was wrapped heavily in bandages. He died later that day. 
My guy Kurt just set the building on fire. I'm gonna be honest, I think this guy is, is the scariest character in your mod, it sounds and appearance wise. If you bring him up. Oh, and that's me, yeah. He definitely goes in your drunk uncle despite being 12 years old. Yeah, you no, know, but that's a part of it. Like, even, like, that's more scary that there's a kid, schizophrenic kid, kid, what the fuck? Schizophrenic kid, 12 years old, burning down a whole house, dying afterwards, and sounding like that. That's yeah. It's also the scariest yeah, one. It's also the fact that he wasn't. Yeah. It's also the fact that he wasn't killed by the fire. He was killed by getting crushed by the rubble. Well, not immediately, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name crafts poor, poor, per, per. How do you, how do you, how do you pronounce it? Pure, pure. Fuck. Um. Age of forty-two. Gender male. Description. Kretz Peart was our first attempt at mimicking the technology used by the cult to restore people to optimal states. He had an extreme injury causing a near-death experience. Many of his senses were damaged, but the mimic was very effective. So, we know that the cult is not the only side trying to bring people back to life, but it's whoever is writing these documents, too. But, so, so it's likely that this guy was the first ever prototype. Instead of the hobo, but the hobo is still definitely just the uh, inspiration and everything is possible. These guys saw what the cult were doing and trying to replicate it with this guy, and it was very effective, but it's not scary. Yeah, no, it's kind of cool that they tried to replicate it, but, you know, scary-wise, uh, necessary? I don't know. Even the sound isn't scary at all. Like, Let's tr see. Like, try it out. It's not scary. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, and that's, yeah, it's the piano thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's just kind of like vibe as well, you know, that's <laughs> kind of makes you move. Yes, he, he seems more like he'd be a friendly uncle rather than a drunk uncle, like type of that would, you know, bring a McDonald's to you every Saturday. <laughs> it kind of sounds like SpongeBob to me. Yeah, uh, easily the least scary character this entire mod. Yeah, I agree. Tab. Age 34, gender male. Not much is known about Tab. All we know is that he works in an office building and he has a strange body pigment disorder. Why was I told to write this document? So, all we know is that Tab is extremely important, but we do not know why. But keep in mind that he was in an, that he, he works in an office building. Keep that in mind. The sound is pretty okay. It's not a melody, but it's kind of scary, I guess. But, but there is definitely proof that this guy is actually pretty scary because um because in the game files of this of scratch this mod mm -hmm. um in the game files tab is referred to as the man in the tie in the sprites Ooh. why would they call him that instead of by his name tab unless he was very important bro bro no bro. i don't think we should rate him just yet because again he might be really important later on so let's leave him be for now okay. the voices Oh, well, uh, that, that's interesting. Oh, I forgot to mention, if we go, if we exit full screen and read the description here. This is a collection of multiple documents from multiple people. They were all found in a recently recovered apartment building around the corpse. It is unknown who wrote most of the documents. They were discovered in an apartment building. What, what does it look like what happened to this description? It looks like maybe, yes, maybe might have burnt a bit. It's likely that these, um, uh, descriptions were found in the apartment building that burned down, but why? If this, if this one was burned, then it's likely that it, they were written at the apartment building before burned, but that doesn't make sense. Kurt and Hart both died after the fire. Unless, what if they're trying to forge evidence? So let's read what we have so far of this burnt description. James had no care for his own life and was extremely aggressive towards all people he had known in his life. This resulted in what he called his final act. He had put his neck in a vice and killed himself simply despite his loving father. Later, he had awoken the ceiling of an apartment building where he was tortured by many people via acts such as destroying they had blah blah blah. Now, there isn't a lot to go off towards the end, but in the game files of Orin Io, there was like a very, very hidden file in an extra sprite, a frame that has the rest of this description. Many people tortured him by killing his dog, stealing his belongings, and burning him alive by forcing the child to set the building on fire. Oh, so someone forced Kurt to set the building on fire. Yeah, what if Kurt never actually had schizophrenia? Yeah! 
Holy shit, yeah! So someone is trying to make a cover-up fucking thing right there. That, that also explain why these things were written while the fire was happening. Because they were trying to forge evidence in preparation because they knew that Kurt and Harp possibly wouldn't survive. But how'd they know that unless they started it? They hung him from the ceiling of an apartment building, killed his dog in front of him, stole his stuff, and set the building on fire by forcing a child to commit arson. This actually, this actually moving kind of mad, not gonna lie. Yeah, and even the fact he's hanging from the ceiling has to really like that that aggressive whispering sound. It seriously sounds like he's saying actual words. Like I swear to God, at some point I hear artists party. What does it say? Yeah, I can't hear shit about it, but yeah, I, I hear whispering. It does sound like words to that, though. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. It's not like uh, Sims language. Uh, yeah. We know this guy is extremely important to the story, and he is seriously connected to both Kurt and Hart. And it's based on that alone that I think he goes to your drunk uncle. This guy, I feel like, is topping it off all, like, topping it all of, you know, you know, crazy movie mad. And as well with the story, and there is a fucking burnt piece of paper, all that. You know, that's kind of horrif- that's kind of horrifying, drunk uncle level type action. Unknown. Age 56. Gender male. Day's corpse is found dead in a newly resurrected apartment building with two nails in his eyes and a car jack beside him covered in blood. He was still alive by the time he was found, but he had stopped before any medical attention could be brought to him. Day's uniform was beside him when he died, and his uniform led to an office building. However, the owner of the business said that Dave had died years ago, even though forensics showed that the corpse was only present in the location for three days. This entire page is extremely, extremely off. Because it specifically states that this guy's name is unknown, but then it goes off to tell about a guy named Dave. Where the fuck is Dave? Two nails in his eyes and a car jack was covered in blood. The description doesn't match his appearance because a, lo a lot that these characters have in common is that they're victims of an incident and their appearance kinda describes how they died. This guy, not really. You know, he, he just looks like a fucking scary shitpost, but I don't yeah. see anything of it in him, actually. You know, the lore-wise. In the original or in Aya, we can't see it because the game was taken down. It states that everyone in the game deserved it, and that message was written by somebody named Dave Kander Ryu. The same Dave, maybe? Hmm. Yes. Newly resurrected apartment building, so it's likely that this apartment building was built after the fire happened, the last one. And apparently his corpse was there for three days, but there was a uniform next to him that led to an office building. And the person who ran the office building said that he died years ago. Office building. So it's clear that these two are both connected, but it's unknown how. And we know that this guy doesn't own a business, he just works there. So he can't be the business owner described in a story. I don't really have any good theories about this because nothing seems to make sense. It couldn't be the one that killed him because they don't know why they're writing a document on it. It could just be like that. Maybe they tried to make that connection, you know, that maybe that's the guy that actually tried to set up David Be Like, yeah, but yeah, he died like many years ago. And they, yeah. you know, they just fucked yeah. up and didn't write the boss, you know, on the description. Yeah, who knows? but if that's the case, who the fuck is this guy? So this either is Dave or isn't Dave. What do you think? I think that I think the the creator of this mod just fucked up. I think this is Dave. <laughs> But then there's something really weird. Based on the description, there's only one sentence that actually describes this guy accurately. He had starved to death before any medical attention could be brought to him. He definitely seems like he starved to death, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it clearly looks like he, he's hungry. Should give him some food, you know? Seems like he mutated or something after he died. Which is, that's the only theory I have because nothing else seems to make sense. But I think based on sounds and appearance alone, this guy goes way beyond your drunk uncle. Do you want to make a new category? This guy is your drunk uncle V2. And since we already finished with Dave, we can definitely finally rate uh, a tab real quick because we know Ooh. that those two those toys are connected. I want to say that it's, it's pretty scary. Like, I want to think that the tab guy is the one that's trying to like set up Dave. You know, even though it's not like the boss, the office boss, but yeah, it's still like related to him, but yeah, I don't really know. Still, if that yeah, makes this guy super scary. Yeah, the big the big reason why Tap is scary is because he, he, we know almost nothing about him and he's really mysterious. Why is he there in the first place? Yeah. All we know is that he and Dave are connected. Yeah. 
And that makes me think that this guy set up there for fucking shambles. Well, he doesn't look scary, and it no, no, certainly no. isn't scary. No, I think no, Cousin Loki is scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this is literally a duck. You put this in SpongeBob Level Fret, I will murder you, because clearly you have not seen this fucking duck sound in animation. Bro, look at the intro of my video. It's a bird, man. <laughs> I actually got jump scared by this guy. Fuck, I got yes. an ad. Okay. Our final experiment. It was a 100% success as the duck had become immortal after using the ferro fluid and could easily be tortured. But let's get back to the situation of the prototypes. We know that the homeless dude is proof of people coming back to life. They used crowds poor to try to mimic the technology of Spider Cult. After that, they used a TV, which ended up being a prototype for Prototype 3, which is multiple TVs. After that, they tried to experiment through living bodies, which is how we got the twins, and that's the fourth prototype that ends there. But why are there only four prototypes unless they succeeded on the fifth attempt? And I said it's final experiment. Experiment. They were experimenting and this was a success. And the last sentence. Had become immortal after using the ferro fluid and could easily be tortured. So the entire reason why they're bringing people back to life is because is so they can torture them. Mm. But why would they do that? Titanic people, you know, sadist, you know. Not really. We know that whoever's reading the whoever's writing these documents are not the cultists, but are people trying to imitate them. And based on the information we know, it's likely that there's some sort of government agency or law enforcement thing, with some, like based on some of the information of the hobo. Here's my theory. You know the death penalty? Yeah, oh well, yeah, I know that one. What if somebody had committed crimes so bad that the death penalty was too good for them? So do you know that they want this instead? Yeah, so so they basically what they do is kill someone, bring them back to life, and n torture them for decades, years, so that they can get their punishment. Oh fuck, oh my god. And you know what's my evidence for that? Effect 3. It states that he deserved it, and nothing oh. else. <laughs> now so that we finally covered a duck, Effect free finally makes sense and we can properly rate him. He was a person who had committed crimes so badly that the death penalty was too good for them, so they needed an alternative to make sure he got what he deserved. Fucking horrifying. Like, this is super scary if that's all yeah, he, it. Yeah, and the sound the animation is super freaky too. He definitely goes in your drunk uncle. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna put them. Do I, I look you I look you want to put every new sound like on top because they, they get progressively scarier. The way that this guy blinks, fuck it, I'm putting in there, I'm putting in there. The way that he blinks and just fucking moves, knowing yeah, that he yeah. deserves it. What the fuck did he do in his life then? I wanna know yeah. what fucking crime he did. I think we all can agree where the duck is going. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. even need to explain where he's where it's going. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Kuski, age 28, gender woman. Kuski was a YouTuber exploring a genre of 3am horror with a twist. Obviously, there wasn't such a thing as an uwu cult. <laughs> so, she, so, so she hired actors. Her depiction of a cult was very offensive, so we had killed her to repay the mockery. She was revived, however, and sent back to society when she later deleted her channel and went back to therapy for 17 years. There's something seriously off about this I noticed. Went to therapy for 17 years. She is 28 years old. 28 minus 17. She was 11 years old. Yeah. They can have YouTube channels. She was killed when she was 11. They killed another child. And the, and the appearance actually manages the description too because all the hands around her could be the depiction of the cult snagging her. Something on this weird plate on her head. I have no idea what that says. 7 dash 7 dash something or maybe it could be some something in another language i can't read that Kasky isn't really that scary sound wise but i think the fear is knowing what happened to her rather than the initial impression but low key i don't think it's uh, like super scary that she was an uber cult youtuber that just got but, killed <laughs> but, but she was killed because she made that content yeah the cult killed her because they thought her content was offensive. I feel like it's just kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's scary. It's just kind of like, well, she was it's 11 years old. They got killed. It's, it's very depressing. And, she, and, and that goes well in hand with the sound she makes, too. I'm going to listen to the sound she makes. I hear it. I like Ooh. the scary sounds now. 
Yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. Where, where do you want him? But I feel like you, you, you feel like this guy, this guy affects you more than it, than it affects me. Where do you want to put this? Between here, I feel like, because yeah, yeah. Andrew, age 57, male. Andrew was reported missing for 26 days until he was found at the bottom of a lake dead. Not much else is known about Andrew. It doesn't even specify how he died. It doesn't look like he drowned, because when somebody drowns and goes missing for 26 days, their body kind of bloats up, right? That's clearly not what's going on here. I don't know how dead drunk people look, but I th maybe you're right. Maybe, probably. Now, based on here, on his appearance, how do you think supposedly he died? Uh... I mean, so if he didn't draw, I mean, his eye is fucked. Here's my theory. On appearance alone, it, it looks like he was either oh, yeah, exactly over overdosed on something or had an illness. Because there's rashes on the top part of his body. They, they look like rashes. His eyes are absolutely fucked. And for some reason, he's... He looks happy. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, I get you, yeah? But I think this might go in hand hand with my overdose theory. There's also the fact his hat has, a, has like an anchor on it, as if he was a sailor or something. If that's the case, why was he on a lake instead of an ocean? If he died from overdose, why was he at the bottom of a lake instead of found in his boat? Unless somebody murdered him. But unfortunately, however, there is nobody in this entire mod that feels like a candidate that would be who murdered Andrew. All I know is that he was killed and he died. Oh, theory, theory, theory. The homeless guy. This guy. Met the other guy, gave him some drugs and be like, Hey dude, you wanna go for a swim? Therefore he's naked! Whoa. Homeless guy! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then he ran away from the police, cause he just killed someone in the lake! That does make sense actually. But that would also mean you also caused the proof of people coming back to life. Unless he was the proof and the homeless dude wasn't. You're smart. I underestimated you. Nah. Yeah, as hard as sound wise it, it, it is, it is pretty grotesque. He makes like coughing noise is similar to beat four. Gonna see you. it, you know. Come on, Yoshi. Oh. Go take a little red paper, paper. He sounds like he's underwater. Like in the yeah. sewer, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's your drunk uncle. Also scary, but it's pretty up there, I'd say. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna say like horrifying. Just the fact that we don't really know man much about him. I'm gonna. I, could, I kind of wanna put them between the rock stars and the fuck faces. And but that's the final tier list. That's the final tier list. Holy shit, this tier list is the most in-depth tier list I have ever been part of. Yeah, because <laughs> we also described the lore. Great, no, but just it's not just describing the lore. I feel like, well, I guess it's kind of describing the lore. We but, uncovered you know, it. Yeah, like seeing the correlation between them, because we can't just read the lore and be like, yeah, that's scary. But now we see the whole pattern of like the relationships and such but the, yeah this guy is fucking yeah. horrifying the, he deserved it that's just that's, that's just fucked that's just fucked i am sprat pat i have salt or an io <laughs> and i have listened <laughs> yeah and now all we gotta do is wait for the comments to yell at us about how wrong we are yeah yeah guys this is uh, mostly spatex interpretation i have tried to be a part of it if you guys have your uh, your theories in the description below I want you to fucking write them, okay? Also, it's press like and subscribe and comment and go follow Splatcheck and everything. You know what you do. I made express. Yeah. <laughs>